All right, so this is a an e-bike kit brushless hub motor. If you look at the wires coming out of the motor all the way to the end, you'll see how there's yellow, blue, and green power wires, and there's also five more, uh, red and a black, and then the matching yellow, green, blue um, for the position sensor. Now, this is an instant start. This is why you have to have the five smaller wires. With this motor, if you take the throttle from a standing stop and you twist on, it'll just go. Now, if you don't secure the motor to your bike and this axle nut comes loose, these wires are going to take a beating. The axle will spin free and all these wires are going to get twisted up. And of course, everything stops and it's a no-go. If I uh, show you again the wires here, remember how we had the three power wires and the five smaller hall wires? If you're lucky and you only damage these five little guys, you can replace this with a pedal first, which I have right here. And this guy here only has three wires going to the motor but no hall sensors. It can't start from a dead stop. You have to push the motor forward before it'll go. So I'm going to plug this in and show you how that works. Alright, so now we've got the uh, Crystallite 36 volt pedal first. And if you look at the motor, you'll see how I put color on color, just shove the Anderson power poles into the bullets. And I'm not using the hall sensors at all. And if I twist the throttle, make sure my camera's still right, um, nothing goes. Now, if I spin this the wrong direction, you'll see how it resists. It creates that cogging effect. But if I spin it forward, it's nice and smooth. So, if I just start it, throttle works. And it doesn't take much, I mean just a little more. There we go. And that's a pedal first. So this is a second motor. Um, same physical type as the one that's on the BMX. It's a slightly lower RPM because it's in a bigger rim to run at 36 volt and get 20 miles per hour. Um, the problem here is that if you throttle on, it'll sometimes jiggle but it won't keep going. Now if you turn it by hand, it'll start. And it's reasonably smooth. You can run really slow if you want. And it won't stall but it you know keeps running. Now I'm going to switch over to the pedal first controller and I'll show you what happens there. Okay, so now I switch over to um, the instant start, same as before, with color on color, without the hulls. No instant start because it's a pedal first controller, but if I spin forward or backwards, I don't get that cogging effect I got with the motor that would run on the pedal first. Um, and it doesn't matter if I spin it in either direction, the instant start refuses to kick in. where the instant start one will, as long as they use the hulls and the phase wires uh, on the stock controller, but it only works if I bump start the wheel. Uh, if anybody can tell me why that is, I would greatly appreciate it.